Alrighty lovelies, how's it going? I've consulted the YouTube aunties and I've used up all my tolo beef and so it's time to make some more. So let's jump straight into it. I managed to pick myself up some nice lamb ribs there. I'm gonna chop those up, put them straight in my container. Got some, I went and spoke to the butcher before he uh, chopped up his lamb that he got in. They usually get in a lamb maybe around Thursday, Fridays, chop it up depending on the order. I asked him if I could get the ribs off it and order those so I got both ribs out of that. I said to him, what else have you got? that I could use for hollow beef and that would be cheap, that would be not wanted by many people, not an expensive cut. So he said I got the, the neck, so I was like, oh, perfect, that should be cheap, no one should really want that. So uh, he sliced them up for me, so I've got all my ingredients here, and I've got my sliced onion, got some sea salt, some Himalayan rock salt, thanks to Quanchero, and let's see, got my bay leaves, I don't know if you can see my bay leaves, I've got some Wentia, dish out some of that. Yeah, that looks good enough. Maybe a bit more. What else? I got some cloves here. Yeah, that looks good enough. Love the cloves. Cloves always give it so much good flavor. Sweeter jelly had. She managed to put in some star anise. So it's like, oh sure, I got some of that. Give it some of that anise flavor. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. It's always hard not to put more in, but I've made this once. After consulting the Nava's Kitchen, Sweet Jelly, Stella Zone, Quanchawa's Kitchen, I think I've got a pretty good recipe following all the uh, Master Chef aunties. So let's get into it. So I could tell there that you couldn't see that before, but I've got all my bay leaves. That's all my cloves and star anise. I'll put that aside. Got my wentia and the salt. So that's it. Just gonna drop them in there. It's all a bit over the shop. I need to bust into these. Yeah, better get my gloves on. Man. I'll get these in to wash. Be a nice bit of red brown in there, I think. Did I get some salt in there? Alrighty, I've got some vinegar water there and just added some salt to it. It's interesting, I've never really had the neck before, but I can't imagine. It's got lots of meat on it, it's got a little bit of fat on it, some bone in there. It's perfect. I haven't seen this dark colour before, but I'm sure it'll be good. A bit of bone sticking through there. Damn. Look at all of that. Don't know how well we can see, but look at all this. All this rib. And that's just one side of it. And that's going to be one lot of tolo beef. So this is all fresh, freshly butchered, only really, what, two days ago maybe. I'm gonna cut these up, then we'll get started on. Nice and thick, no smell to it, super fresh. Once I've done these, I'm going to uh, ziplock it, or not ziplock it, but put it in a vacuum seal bag. Then I can just pull out pieces out of the, out of the freezer. And I wanted to play with you all. I do have a sink full of water with vinegar and salt for washing my meat. I did want to play around with you and do the abroni thing. And so you'd all have a heart attack and this blafonio not even cleaning his meat. But don't worry, I know better. I've been taught well by the YouTube aunties. Look at that nice piece of meat. These are all going to be delicious. So I'll put this in the water, wash them, and then dry them out on the paper towel. And then we'll get it into, get it into its curing container. I always like to joke because I'm trying to think of ways of how I can support myself in Ghana. I'm sure they don't need any. No one needs a butcher who can't speak any gar or tree. No matter how much I try, I'll find a way. I'm gonna find a way back. That's my plan. Too much to do. Life's too short. That's where I've got to be somewhere. Somewhere I'm gonna get it. All right. I think all of this cost me about, uh, I wanna say $40, $40 Canadian dollars. And then I'll turn these into little, what I like to call little flavor morsels. I won't bother putting any color back into it, but I did see a really neat trick from someone. What do you call them? Sorrel or bisap leaves, or hibiscus leaves. You could get the natural color that way, but there's no need to, I don't need it colored. I'm just using it for me. As you can see, there's lots of, lots of color coming out of this. I'll drain this off. Start to get it out on the, the paper towel drying. Maybe we'll rinse it off a bit more. Anyway, I'll have to get in and wash this sink afterwards. Okay. 
Okay, oh, you feel the fat on this. Let's get on to the next step. I'll dry that a bit more. So it doesn't have to be too dry. So I'm just gonna get all of this lamb in here. Maybe we'll put a layer of that. I hope it's gonna fit. Oh, it looks like too much, holy dooly. So try to dry it down a bit. Onion in there, get some of that spread on this layer. Then I'll eventually mix everything in. Bay leaves, I'm kind of spilling it all over the kitchen counter at the moment. Look at all of this. All of this lamb is gonna make the most delicious tollo beef. So I can make angle mo. I can make more jollof. Let's get some more of this onion in here. Look at that. All that bone flavor, all the meat. Love it. He nearly took me to the markets too. Well, he did take me into Mocha, but I kind of chickened out on getting some toddler beef because I didn't know how or when I was going to be cooking it. Anyway, time to go back and do that though. Sweet. Maybe catch up with Henrietta or, or Nee. I get Nee to take me back into the market. We had too much fun. Get the rest of the bay leaves in there, the wentia. Maybe snap a bit of them. Oh, this just smells amazing. Right, got to run away. Looks like I could do with more of it. Maybe I didn't account right on this. Let's cover. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's mix this up and make some tolo beef. I think I'm probably going to need more salt. I'm going to need more... It's starting to warm up here, so last time I did leave it out on the counter to make this. But I think this time it's too much meat to lose. I don't wanna don't wanna risk it. I wanna kind of put it in the fridge maybe and I'll put it in there for maybe a bit longer. I just had to do a bit of a recap with Stella's own. I know she had it outside in the cold, it's not cold enough yet. Because we've just come out of really spring or yeah, spring. Look at this onion and the bay leaves. You know, it even looks like it needs more bay leaves. This is probably my happiest place, is creating flavor with salt, spices, meat. That's where I'm at. I think I'm gonna throw on more salt, more spices, and then get this in the fridge. So stick with me for just a second. Definitely need some more meat going in there. Break them open, get some of that extra flavour out of them. That should be enough. Not too much star anise. Maybe some more, more cloves, there we go. I didn't realise I had that much meat. This is gonna last me forever. Let's get a bit more Himalayan rock salt on this. Okay. Now we can let the magic begin. Start to convert this into a savory morsels, tender, juicy, full flavored magic to put into dishes. With all that, all that in there, it already starts to smell pretty good. I did get this container specifically for salting things and I've done some salted radish. I've still got that in the fridge. Tried to copy the Chinese way of drawing it out in the sun, turning it into a, once you convert it in the sun, drying it out then it turns into this sweet salted stuff. It's always fun to enjoy the magic and discover the magic of other countries with the way they treat foods and so let's get this wrapped up and in the fridge. Oops, that's right. We have to put in more bay leaf. Here we go. That looks better. We'll start to see what magic gets created in the bottom of this tomorrow. I'll tip out the water and might even add a bit more salt. We're good to go. As it happens, I seem to have lost some footage and uh, when I was pouring off the water and what had been pulled out by the salt and I managed to lose that footage in time for uh, for putting in between this, this step of draining it off. So... I've just got these couple of photos of it slowly curing away, but I managed to do this for a couple of weeks. This is what I've been working on for the last two weeks. Look at this goodness. These lamb ribs, all this laid out like a drug seizure. Got a haul of gold. Wiped off all the spices and the onion tonight. 
vacuum sealed them up and into portions. I reckon these are good sized portions. I'm not sure how much they weigh. They're probably a pound, 250 grams maybe, maybe a little bit more. But I figured these were good portions for making um, tola beef jollof or anguamo or anything, you know. Just, that's a good size one. There's a bit of neck, a bit of ribs in there, lots of meat on it. I figured it's going to be delicious. So that's what my last two weeks of toil has has made. These are nice meaty big packs. I'm going to throw these in the freezer that I can then pull them out anytime I need and make my anguamo or whatever I want to cook. Whatever the next dish that calls for some tolo beef in it. So look at that. Really? After all that hard work, what have I got? I only got seven, seven dishes left, or enough to make seven dishes. Maybe it'll be more, but it was delicious. Now I've just had it in the fridge. I've tipped off any water that's been in there and salted it up a bit more. It smells absolutely divine. So I can't wait to cook with it because even once you've cured it like this, put it in the freezer, it just keeps that flavor. Even when you soak it in water for 24 hours or parboil it. So I'm really looking forward to using this now that I've restocked my tolo beef. Maybe I can make some more of that uh, beef short rib, a uh, tolo beef. Anyway, time to get on with editing another video and hopefully we'll get this one out next weekend. So stay tuned for more goodness. There's definitely going to be an anguamo recipe coming at some stage soon and who knows what else. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.